Cherry. I love cherry picking. Uh, okay. And uh, we got like one, one point two five meters. Uh, when we take this popper and we pop it, it flies up one point two five meters. Nine five meters per second. You can sit back there. No problem. Okay. Uh, I don't know why my microphone is making demonic sounds, but uh, yes, we found the initial. All right. So now, with the same information, can we find the time it takes to reach max height? Good, good. Okay, now I'm going to set the challenge on you guys, and I'm going to solve it myself. What kinematics equation do we use in order to solve for the time it takes to get from here to here? What? Is it this? Uh, I think I heard this. Good, good. You did it. Okay, so, the F, we know is zero. The I is that 4.95 number. A is G, so T is 4.95 over G. Good. You guys did good this time. Okay. 0.51 seconds. All right, all right. So now, this one is very, very tricky. So I don't blame you if you can't get it first try. So, let's see. So, it goes from this state, before the pop, to this state, after the pop, where it pushes off from the ground. Yes? Is that correct? Okay. So now, I want you to tell me, how much does it accelerate during this pop? And believe it or not, all you need for this question is VI. And obviously what I gave you before. How much does it accelerate during this pop? <laughs> uh, anyone want to come up to the board and solve it? Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, you can't solve for it without one major element. Let me measure this first. Uh, okay. I am so sorry, folks. Uh, yes. Okay. This hopper popper, by the way, just to let you know, has a radius of 1.25 centimeters. And consequently, because it's a hemisphere, it also must have a height of 1.25 centimeters. So use that to your own advantage. Let's see if you can do that. You need this for the problem. Okay, so we know initial velocity is 4.95 and you know final velocity is 0. So the rate of change of velocity here, in this time, it changes this much. Oh, oh, no. I'm not talking about while it's in the air. I'm talking about when it goes from, let me grab this. I'm talking about when it goes from this to this. What is the acceleration? Okay, so the... When it pops. Oh. Okay, I might have lost it. Whatever. Okay, thank you. Oh yeah. Uh, oh no. <laughs> we lost it. <laughs> we have a casualty. Oh, thank you. Okay. Uh, Alright. So, can you find the acceleration during the pop? Okay, I, I'm applying v squared to u squared uh, plus 2as again. So now we know v, u, and we know distance s. Since it goes from this position, which is 1.25, sorry, uh, point, uh, point, point, oh, point 0.0125 okay, meters to this way, which is another point 0.0125. So we know overall displacement here is point 0.025. So s is equal to this. We have to find a. We know. Uh, V i is equal to 4.95 and V f is equal to 0. So applying V square is equal to... Uh, uh, 4.95 Wait, think about it, think about it. I'm going to give you a hint. When it's like this, when it hasn't popped yet, it's at rest, right? But when it has popped, it starts moving upwards at that rate that we had before. So, use that. Okay, here. Okay, so we have, we have one of the 
decide one day or okay. Yeah, I'll use the calculator. You don't have to just solve for uh, V. No, just solve for A. All I want to see you do is solve for A. Okay. Uh, yeah. Good enough. 4.95 squared divided by 19 point... And by 2020, uh, I said 25. Oh, uh, uh, 0.05? Yeah, uh, 2S. Oh, 2S. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I thought that said 2G. Uh, 4.95 squared... Uh, 25, 22, 50, 500, uh, 500. Uh, 490... Uh, root over that. Uh, yeah. No, this will be correct. A is this. Okay. Yeah, 490.5. So it doesn't really matter, uh, you can go sit down. So it doesn't really matter he switched up the VF and VI. He made the crucial realization that I want you to all make. This was displaced by 0.025 meters. And you really have to work your brain to spot that. So I congratulate you on doing that. Okay, so we have officially found the acceleration during the pump. And that was... 490.05 meters per second squared.